Hi, I'm Zabidi Hussein, Professor of Pediatrics at the University of Science, Malaysia. The main objective of history taking is to make a definitive diagnosis which will lead you to plan your investigation and of course the management of a patient. In order to come to a definitive diagnosis of a disease, you will need to create a reasonable and complete differential diagnosis. But often, in the rush of history taking and the rush of time, especially in emergencies, one tends to forget a complete differential diagnosis and which will make you risk the possibility of missing the diagnosis altogether. Now this is where a structured thinking is necessary to help you guide and create a differential diagnosis. Now I've created this mnemonic, vitamins A, B, C, D, E, K, to help you in your thinking process. V stands for vascular, which means that you should never forget about anything to do with vessels, or bleeding, or hemorrhage, or anything to do with hematology as a cause of the illness. I stands for infection, either through parasites, viruses, or slow viruses, or the like. T stands for trauma, the traumatic causes of the disease, or mechanical causes, like for example, in the case of malrotation, that's not traumatic, but it is mechanical. So T will make you think about mechanical causes. A, autoimmune. M, metabolic, pertaining to metabolism of fat, carbohydrate and protein, and the like. I will be idiopathic or iatrogenic. You, have, you can, must never forget that as a possible cause of an illness. And neoplasia. And S, social. Social reason for an illness must not be forgotten. As in the case of children, for example, the illness of failure to thrive or some uh, physical illness may be due to neglect, a social neglect, and that would be very, very important to remember. A will be alcohol-induced, again, very, very important, especially in children, the likes of fetal alcohol syndrome. B, behavioral causes like uh, Munchausen syndrome or Munchausen syndrome by proxy, always must be remembered. C, a congenital cause, and when you mention C, you have to think about congenital, vascular, infection, trauma, and you can go through all the list again. D, a degenerative cause for the illness or drug induced. Important to remember that. E, endocrine, and K will make you remember karyotype or genetic causes of that illness. So if you go through the vitamins A, B, C, D, E, K, very, very quickly through your mind as you take the history, you will not hopefully miss any possibilities that can cause the illness in the, in the person. And of course, it will take time in the beginning to go through all that, but with practice and practice, this kind of structured thinking through a mnemonic, which is easy to remember, will hopefully lead to better diagnosis, differential diagnosis, and from there, you can make and plan your management accordingly. I hope you will find this helpful. Thank you very much.